Bonjour, mesdames and messieurs. In this video, I want to talk to you about the new Lightroom 9 and the four features that I like the most. All right, guys, so Lightroom 9 is out. It's the November uh, update for Lightroom Classic. One thing I've been waiting for a long time is this. Uh, here is a panorama. I select all four photos. I right click, I go to photo merge, panorama, and check this out. You have now the option of fill edge. This is really cool. You can just click on that and look at this. It's going to use the content award fill technology that's in Photoshop to create all the missing pixel. This is amazing because I had to go to Photoshop and do it every time. So that's one big thing. Next, the ability to do different exports at the same time. Check this out. Let's say I want to post this photo on 500px in a full resolution on Instagram at a certain resolution and on Facebook at a certain resolution and I want to do it in one shot. I can now right click export and let's say this photo I want to export it at a very specific resolution uh, to uh, 500px. Uh, for example, like full resolution and then a smaller resolution to Instagram and a different resolution to Facebook. Well, check this out. You can go here. I'm going to take the option called specific folder. I'm going to go, for example, and uh, on my document folder, I'm going to create a folder called social media. Okay, so that it, it's going to be like the root of everything is going to be there. All right. And now uh, I'm going to create a subfolder called, for example, 500px. And on this one, I want to put full resolution photos to 500px. So I'm not going to resize it. Okay, so instead of exporting, I'm gonna just add it here as a preset and I'm gonna create a new folder of preset called social media. All right, here we go. And this one I'm gonna call 500px, for example. Okay, so now I got this folder with 500px. Let's create another one. Let's create Instagram. Instagram, do it for the gram. Instagram, so on this one, I'm gonna resize it. Let's say, uh, the short edge, I minimum want to have the short edge to be 1,500. That's what I do usually for, you know, because I like to have a certain dimension on Instagram. So I can go here, add this again, and let's call this Instagram. Instagram. Okay, and let's do one more. Facebook. Facebook. And uh, on this one, I want the short edge to be like 2,000. Okay, so add Facebook. And now all I have to do is select the three folders, click export, and it's gonna export that photo in the specific folders at the specific size. And it's really cool. Let's say I wanna add this one too. I can just right click, export, export. Now that I have it set up, I can just click here. Yes, I want this, I want this, and boom, export. And check this out. I'm in. The social media folder, 500px, I got these two photos, and look at this, 3,400, 5,016, they are like full resolution, uh, 3,600, that's the full resolution of this photo, and this one is uh, 2,500 by 2,000, and same thing, and they were all resized based on what I said, so that's really cool. The next update is the ability to export a group of preset in one shot. Before it was a bit hard, you had to go into the system and get them. Now you can just take, this is like all my natural preset that I use all the time. I can just go here and if I wanna sell them or give them to somebody, I can right click and export group. And I'm gonna put it here, for example, in that social media and boom. If I go in my social media, you can see now I have a zip file. If I double click on it, I have all the XMP files, which is all the presets I've been using. So if you're into preset making or you wanna give presets to your friends, that's a great way to do it. One is a small thing is the ability to clear history. So for example, I'm on this photo. This is the history of the retouching. You know, I applied a preset to it. I did a few things and it eventually came to that. And now I've got all these different things, which is like different exports that's in my history. It's cluttering my history. I can right click and I can do clear history above this step. And it's going to erase everything and just keep the main really retouching history that I want. Small, but kind of cool. Thing I want to cover, which I think is kind of cool, is the ability in the library module on the grid view to be able to erase different photos at the same time. Before you had to do them one by one, now I can just use the command key on my keyboard, select different photos, it's control on Windows, shift delete, and now I can delete the six photos at one time. So that's a small thing. The other improvement is just different small things. I covered what I really like about it. You know, they added new cameras, there is something about the crop factors, some stuff on keywords. Anyway, my name is Serge Ramali. I do one video 
sometimes two videos per week on Lightroom, Photoshop, and photography, or the business of photography. Subscribe to my channel if you get a chance, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for your time.